Good morning everybody, it's Paul C here for WP Tuts and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the results of the last five weeks worth of testing where we've gone over and tested the five key themes to work with WordPress and Elementor. So if you're interested to see what the results are, stick around because I think there might be a couple of surprises in here for you. So for the results today, we're just going to go over all the different tests we've done and I'm going to show you the comparisons between each of the five different themes. This should give you a good idea of exactly how they performed in an exactly the same environment. Now, this is the key thing. Could you get faster results yourself? Possibly by using a different server setup. But the most important thing to take away from this is all of these tests are done on exactly the same setup with exactly the same system in place. So what this is going to give you is a good benchmark for how fast the themes are in comparison to each other. So don't take this as being indicative of this is the exact same result that you will get because chances are you'll have a different server setup, different server location and all different kinds of things in place. But this is going to give you a good idea of which is the good starting point, which works well with Elementor and also, most importantly, which works well with a caching plugin like Auto Optimize. Now this is something that did quite surprise me and I think you'll probably see some surprises yourself. So let's just jump over now, take a look at those results and let's go through and start to see how all these five different themes compared. So their initial batch of comparative results of just WordPress and a clean copy of each of the themes installed, you can see that the Astra theme is currently sitting in number one position with a time of around about 0.4 of a second load time. Now if we take a look at Hello, which is the slowest in this batch of results, this is coming out at 0.76 of a second. So in other words, it's around about 40% slower in this case. But like I say, bear in mind these are all sub one second times. So none of these are particularly bad starting points, but we can see that the Astra theme is most definitely coming out on top, closely followed by Ocean WP and Generate Press, which are within a few milliseconds of each other. They're very, very close. However, the Hello theme, which is the most bare bones theme out of all of these, is currently sitting as the slowest. Now this result is kind of interesting and what sparked this whole sort of process off. Hello theme is being touted as being completely bare bones and therefore the fastest theme to work with Elementor. In this example where we don't have Elementor installed and when we do install Elementor on its own with no page content, it didn't make any difference to speed. The load times were exactly the same. So it's kind of strange to see that the Hello theme out of all of these five is currently ranking at the bottom of the pile. So there we go. There's the first batch of results in for just WordPress and a clean copy of the theme installed. And as we can see, the Astra theme is pulling ahead quite considerably over the competition. But how well is it going to fare when we actually go through install Elemental Pro, create a header, a footer and put some page content in? Well, Let's take a look at the next batch of results and find out. So now I've gone ahead, installed Elementor Pro, Elementor, and created a header and footer using the theme builder and also using one of the predefined templates with optimized images for the physical content of the page. You can see the results are quite different. Hello is still sitting as one of the lowest or slowest themes, which is coming out at just under three second load time, which is pretty slow. Then OceanWP is within literally a millisecond of it or 0.10 of a millisecond. Astra is still looking pretty good. However, Generate Press and the Page Builder framework have definitely pulled forward, not by much of a margin over Astra, but a considerable margin over Hello and Ocean WP. These are currently coming in at sub two seconds, with Generate Press coming in at 1.3 seconds. Very, very good result. Like I say, there's minimal optimization of this and no caching whatsoever on server and or any plugins on there. So again, like I say, it's very interesting to see that Astra Generate Press and the Page Builder Framework are by far the better themes with just Elementor installed and some basic page content created. At this point, I was definitely expecting to see the Hello theme pulling ahead in the speed, but ultimately that's not the case. Hello and Ocean WP are currently sitting lowest out of these five results. So now that we've installed Elementor, Elementor Pro and created the page content, we can see that both Ocean WP and the Hello theme are falling behind both Astra, Generate Press and also the Page Builder Framework. Now Generate Press is currently on top, but the margins are tiny. So these are not something that I would consider too much of an issue. So the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the results with Auto Optimize and its basic setup in place and find out how well each of these themes fare with a caching plugin installed and configured. So now we've installed Auto Optimize and done a really basic setup on it. What we can see is 
quite a considerable difference. If we take a look at the results for both the Hello theme and Ocean WP, they're very, very close, still sitting pretty close to each other within the case of a few milliseconds. But what this has done, this has basically halved the load time. We've gone from just under three seconds for both Hello and Ocean WP, and we've got down to 1.46 for hello and 1.38 seconds for Ocean WP. So a massive difference by using an auto optimized caching plugin to the actual load time on there. We've cut it pretty much in half. However, with Astra, Generate Press and the Page Builder framework, didn't really make much in the way of difference. In, if anything, it's actually made them a little slower. So it's one of the things where I say it's always worth testing to make sure that any plugin you install, especially when it comes to the caching plugins, are actually doing a good job. Like I say Auto Optimize generally is a very easy plugin to work with, but doesn't always give great results. And we saw exactly the same thing when a lot of people have been testing out the Swift Performance Lite plugin you'll see on the channel. You can see some people are coming back with, wow, this thing is amazing, cut my times from being X to Y, fantastic. Other people coming back saying, didn't do a thing. And then you've also got other people coming back and saying, actually my load times were slower. So remember, cash in plugins work with the theme, work with the server setup, and all of these things need to be taken into consideration when you're testing things out to find the optimal sort of combination of all of those. So as we can see, if we install a auto optimize or caching plugin in this particular example, and like I say, a stress in the point in this particular example, the Ocean WP theme actually comes out on top with a tiny, tiny improvement over the Hello theme. But what you should hopefully be able to see is that those two work well with auto optimize, the other three, not so much so. But what is worth bearing in mind at this point is that every one of these five themes are sitting at sub two second load times with no more optimization other than a basic setup of auto optimize. So there are lots of things you could do to take this beyond the results that we have here, but this gives you a good benchmark to find out which of these five themes you think is the best option for you to start off with. So there we go, there's the final batch of results and kind of a strange result I think you might agree. The way that everything has completely flipped over on its head and now the two themes that were falling behind with just Elemental Pro installed some page content are now coming out on top compared to the others. Now this might have something to do with the way Auto Optimize works with those particular themes. I don't really know, but it's still interesting to see. Now, as always, there's still more things you could do. This is just a basic benchmarking test. There are tons of different situations, different server setups, different caching plugins, having a CDN setup on there. All these different things are going to give you different results and something that you need to test. The same thing goes for the kind of caching software. We've got things like Swift Performance or Swift Performance Lite. You've got various different caching plugins. They need to be tested to find out which gives you the best results with both your server setup and also the theme and the contents that you're actually using. So don't take this as being indicative of everything, a one size fits all kind of situation. So there we go. There's the results for the five themes that we've benchmarked with Elementor and WordPress. Was your favorite theme or your theme of choice in there? If it was, how did it fare against the others? Would the results help you stick with that particular theme or would you look at something else that may have had better results? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, speaking of the comment section, if you are using any of these themes in this particular batch of tests and you're getting better results, let us know exactly what you're doing to eke out every last drop of performance from these themes when working with Elementor and WordPress. I think we can all benefit from knowing those things. It'll help us get better websites moving forward. Now, speaking of creating better websites, if you're looking to move on and learn more about anything we cover on this channel, please consider clicking on some of the videos you can see on screen right now. They'll help you move forward and get more out of WordPress, Elementor, and anything else we cover on this channel. All the applicable links for everything covered are in the description below. And as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.